Hi, uh, very good morning and welcome back. Today, let's learn about a comparison of uh, compressed air versus nitrogen in car tires. So now it's uh, uh, new generation vehicles, most of the cars and trucks are trying, uh, filling the tires with uh, nitrogen inflation or nitrogen is used to uh, inflate the tires instead of compressed air. In early days it was only compressed air being used for tire inflation. So uh, why it is being done will be discussed in this topic. There are various uh, parameters actually uh, giving some advantage uh, which made people to switch from compressed air to nitrogen. So those are the parameters like tire life, the tire wear, tire weight, oxidization effect, cool tire, the green effect and also pressure maintenance. So let's learn how these actually uh, come into effect uh, in both these uh, compressed there and nitrogen. So first let's take tire life. Uh, the tire life will be low when we use uh, compressed air and will be high uh, when we use nitrogen inflation. Uh, it's because uh, the second factor comes into play because the tire wear will be high when we use the compressed air and in nitrogen the tire wear will be much low. There are various factors actually uh, influencing this parameter. Uh, those are like when nitrogen is actually used you can see here the tires are actually cool because uh, the nitrogen cools the tire that gives uh, the tire uh, rubber makes it cool so uh, the wear and tire factor reduces when the tire is cool usually it is giving more effect in uh, tubeless tires because uh, the nitrogen will be directly in contact with the tubeless tires and it cools the uh, tire which result in less wear and tear of the tire but when we use compressed air what happens is that the chance of the tire getting hot is much faster and hot rubber can uh, result in much faster wear and tear so the tire is cooled less uh, wear and tear will happen and also about the tire weight uh, with compressed air there is about 30 percentage of moisture or like water content in compressed air so it makes the tire more weight and it gives uh, more load to the engine so more load to the engine means the fuel consumption uh, will increase so uh, fuel if you if you take about fuel economy economy it will be less in uh, air and with nitrogen it will be more the fuel economy will be more uh, if we use uh, uh, nitrogen filled tires because the weight of the tire will be less so the load on the engine will be less and the same happens there the uh, wear and tear also reduces that also will actually reduce the uh, this particular uh, load on the engine so that also will actually improve the fuel economy if we use nitrogen filled tires okay so and uh, the next is the oxidation effect the oxidation effect says that when we use compressed air, the chance of the rubber getting in contact with the oxygen and get oxidized, so that can actually reduce the life of uh, the uh, rubber of the tire, which will result in the uh, tire to burst. So there are chances of oxidization when uh, we use compressed air, but when we use nitrogen, that can be completely avoided. No oxidization will take happen or it will not take effect. So the tire life will be more. Uh, when we used nitrogen in that case also. The pressure maintenance factor is very important because when we use compressed air the chance of leak is much faster that means if you fill your uh, car tire with compressed air uh, 7 to 10 days we need to top up the tire to maintain the tire pressure or the tire pressure will reduce and if the tire pressure will uh, get reduced uh, beyond a particular limit or beyond that uh, optimum tire pressure required what happens is that the load on the engine will increase, the wear and tear will increase, the stability of the vehicle will be lost. So those are the factors. But if when we use nitrogen, the pressure maintenance will be high uh, because the tire, uh, the tire which has a nitrogen filled uh, system will not lose the pressure much fast uh, compared to a compressed air because it will hold the tire pressure, the optimum tire pressure which we have filled in. To a limit of like one or two or three months then only we need to top up it so we need not uh, frequently look into the tire pressure or get into 
uh, the top upping of the tire pressure always so it helps us to have a good uh, fuel economy also because with uh, better tire pressure uh, optimum tire pressure the load on the engine will be less and the fuel economy will also improve so those are some factors and uh, if you look into the economic factor there is a difference because of filling a uh, compressed air the rate will be less okay it will be less uh, but for filling nitrogen it will be uh, a bit more like if you take in US and UK for filling nitrogen in each tire it will cost about five dollars and if you take in India uh, filling of nitrogen uh, will take for all the tires it will take about 250 rupees and top upping will cost you about nearly 30 to 50 rupees but compass there it will be much cheaper for five rupees we can fill the tire uh, all the four tires with compressed there but all if you look into all the other factors it is always advantage to fill nitrogen in your tires for better life for, for better fuel economy for safety and also stability of the vehicle it is better to have nitrogen filled tires so uh, those are the factors and another main factor is the green uh, environment factor if we use nitrogen the tire life increases the fuel emission reduces so it is good for ecology also because the raw material required for tire is reduced because number of tires need to be consumed when we use nitrogen will be less because of the increase in the tire life so the companies the emissions of the uh, tire manufacturing companies will reduce the uh, electricity consumption will reduce the raw material consumption will be reduced and in the raw also the emission factor also will reduce the safety also increases so it is green for the ecology also so these are the factors uh, when we look into the comparison of uh, compressed air with nitrogen in car tires so i believe you got an idea about the whole thing if you like this video please click the like button or have it doubt please drop a comment i will reply to it you can also click the subscribe button uh, so that as we upload new technical videos it will directly come to your inbox thanks for watching this video have a great day